I'm a little wet. My girlfriend asked me yesterday if I wanted to come over to her apartment. I asked her how the weather would look tomorrow since my truck's in the shop. She's not a meteorologist, so she went ahead and looked on the internet. The internet said it would only have a 20% chance of rain. I said, I'm good. So I drove out there, wake up today, and I gotta leave. I got stuff to do. And it's raining. Raining a lot. And her college isn't 10 minutes away, it's not 20 minutes away, it's not 30 minutes away. It's 60 minutes away. The good thing is, it started cleaning my lens for me. I've lost, got love, got love, got love before. I might have gotten caught in the rain earlier today, but now I gotta work on the BMW. We gotta get this thing running. The sun's shining, the day's getting beautiful. Let's make the BMW beautiful. My plans are to change the spark plugs and check to see if they got spark. I kind of just want to start with the basic. I don't want to go ahead and start looking at the computer or anything like that. And then once I know everything mechanically is good, then we can go into the computer and just find exactly what's going on. To begin, usually the biggest problem is people putting the wrong spark plugs. I guess these BMWs like Bosch. The door and you say and what a lot of people like to do is they like to put cheaper spark plugs in them, such as Autolight or NGK. I did a little bit of reading, not much, but I know that I should start with spark and fuel first. The odometer says it only has 57,000 miles on it. Somebody has gone in this before because there's only one nut on here instead of two. The second nut should be right there. I only took off one. So already we might be able to say that these have incorrect spark plugs in them. This is what I'm looking at at the moment, and I just put my 10 millimeter away, and I need 10 millimeter now. I'm gonna break all these loose first, and then I'll take my magic impact and take them off. I'm not in the business of wasting time. Just once more, and you came and you took control. So I guess what a lot of people were doing was they were going ahead and going right to BMW and trying to find out like computer components and sensors and stuff like that to try to find out what was wrong with those types of things. But what I found out was people were saying, no, check out the more simple things like spark plugs, spark plug wires. Those three letters, BMW, have already caused me enough trouble and cost me enough money. And the fact is, is if this does become a like actual drift car, I'm probably gonna put my own gas tank in it instead of using the one that's already in it. The one that's already in it is really close to the ground and you know, it, it can get sketchy if you don't replace that. You touch my very soul, you always show me that. That was way better than doing them, that, that, that worked. Okay, this came out really easily. It doesn't really smell like oil, which is good. And it's not like dripping with oil, so that's really good. I like that they're, like this one looks brand new. This one looks brand new. Man, these look nice. Loving you is where it's at, you make it. So now we'll take the spark plugs out, see how those look, see if they're Bosch. I don't have a fancy spark plug wrench, we're just going to use this 3 8 ratchet. Tell you what, they're tight. So, Moment of truth, here we go. Very happy, and I'm, so I'm gonna go ahead and say it's got Bosch in it. Okay, this smells like gas. The first cylinder smells like gas. And it is an NGK, so it is the incorrect spark plug. So right off the bat, we're down to a crappy spark plug, and fuel is in the cylinder, which is telling me that it's not firing. Whether it's the coil or the spark plug, we'll have to find that out. But don't let me talking in a sophisticated manner deter you from watching this video. This is, this, is this is just for entertainment. I'm not trying to teach anybody anything, but if you learn on the way, then that's a good thing. I guess BMW is like Bosch, and you're not supposed to be running anything other than that. So if you ever own a BMW when you get older, or whether you go out and buy it tomorrow, run Bosch in your BMW. Auto light is a Ford thing, and NGK is like um, like an Eastern thing. I don't know. This one is a. This one's covered with gas as well. 
covered with gas, which is saying it's not firing. This is an NGK as well. Two for two, crappy spark plugs, and a crappy situation. This is kind of like opening Pokemon cards when I was a kid. It's like, oh, I hope I get a Charizard. Oh, I hope this is all nice in here. No, we're getting like energy cards, like the crappy cards that nobody wants. That's what the NGKs are. This one is black. Not, not gas on it, so it's actually going ahead and burning stuff. But, it's an NGK. The third cylinder wasn't that bad. Cole, if you own a BMW, run Bosch spark plugs. That's the lesson of the day. <laughs> the horn symbolized him swearing or cursing. And he said beep that. I think that means that that's a good idea. Thanks for the lesson. Okay, fourth cylinder. NGK. Four for four NGKs. Three out of four not burning. This is actually exciting. So far it's not looking like it's going to be a computer issue or an electronic issue. These might need to be replaced, but chances are it's probably just spark plugs and a good cleaning. If you don't know much about engines, there's three things that you need to have an engine run. Air, spark, and fuel. Really basic. All this electronic bullcrap, don't let it deter you. It's quite simple. Well, you know what? Let me not even make that assumption yet because we have yet to get this car running. But I think it's just to make it look fancy and make it look more complicated than it is. This one is burnt. So it's sparking, but it's an NGK. Last one. I probably look like Hitler now because I put the spark plug a little too close to my nose. NGK, this one's burnt. So three out of three, I think you guys know. Time to go get some Bosch spark plugs, if anybody has them. Hello, do you guys sell Bosch spark plugs? Yep. Okay, hey, I'm looking for some spark plugs for my BMW. Can you can you tell me what I need? I can try with the, what year's the Beamer? It's a 98, Uh-huh. and it's a 323i. The 323i is a made in Mexico version, which I won't have parts for. You know, they're calling for a double platinum. I spend my whole life. And you, you don't have a Bosch, though? I don't carry a Bosch for that at all. It's not even give me a listing for a Bosch. Okay. Well, I need a Bosch, I guess. All right. Well, thank you very much. All right. Bye. Made in Mexico. That sounds like a deal. My local automotive place didn't have Bosch. They're awesome guys, but they, they understand that sometimes you just need to get stuff done today. I mean, that's just a fact, Jack. You want a Bosch? Yes, I want a Bosch. Okay. Um, there is not another store that carries that particular one. It's factory direct and they're out at the factory. Perfect. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye. This, this is so frustrating. Like, nobody carries anything. Probably only the BMW dealer will carry that spark plug on hand. Man, the worst thing about owning a BMW is waiting on parts. It really sucks. Nobody has anything in stock. They have funny hardware. And when you do find it, it's expensive. Really expensive. I can't wait to get it running so I can just put a turbocharger and blow it up. Then I won't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> Maybe I should check the radiator out before I go ahead and put my hood back on. I think I might be able to fix this. You probably shouldn't do this to fix the radiator, but I don't care. This radiator was good when I bought it. It was when we were unloading it, it got screwed up. What happened is I turned the wheel and the car fell off the ramps and yada yada yada. Well, what ended up happening. And I'm so glad you came into my life. See what aluminum does to steel? Rusts it right out. only has like one or two small little cracks in it. It was basically misting out. 
It wasn't pouring out, it wasn't dribbling out, it was just misting out. You have two small holes right there. You have one right there and one right there. So instead of buying a new radiator, we'll just repair this one. It'll save money on the BMW build. We'll take some brake cleaner to it. And without being stingy, we'll clean this right up. That should be clean. Hopefully that'll do it. It looks ugly. But a little overkill never hurt nobody. Mm -hmm.